Oh wow, I haven't posted a video in a long time. So, I'm at my grandma's right now. In about six hours, we're leaving to go back home. Um, yeah, it's about one in the morning. Just casually sitting in a bathtub. But it's okay. Like, it's totally normal. Just in a quiet place at the house so I don't wake anybody up. I was laying in my bed and I was thinking, you know, what would be a perfect story time to share with you guys? And sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've just been doing too many important things. I was thinking of a cool story time to tell you guys. And I was like, oh, there was this one time that this cleaning lady tried to steal this shirt. And I was wearing it. And like, it made sense. So, sorry I look like a corn. Um... Yeah, it's one in the morning, what can I say? I'm gonna explain my experience with thieving housekeepers. Anyways, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm talking kind of quiet so I don't wake people. My grandma's up. Okay, anyways. So, the story begins when John and I and his family were going to St. Louis for the weekend for his mom's graduation. So when we first got to the hotel, I put this shirt out of my suitcase and laid it on the back of a chair because it gets wrinkly easy, so I didn't want it to be wrinkly when I wore it. So I took it out, laid it, and I didn't touch it for two days because I wasn't going to wear it until like the last day that we were there. So anyways, we get back from his mom's graduation and we were going to go back to the hotel room to change clothes and stuff into casual clothes and we got to the hotel. And we had noticed that there was like the cleaning lady cards and stuff, so we were like, oh, they're cleaning in their rooms. Um, we had gone into our room and like nothing really looked clean like the beds were made and stuff but like the trash wasn't picked up or anything like it didn't look like they really cleaned much so john and i had gone to the room and we started just talking about something for like five minutes and then the cleaning lady walks out of the bathroom we had no clue she was in there like she was just probably taking a shit or something i don't really know but she was in the bathroom and she was like oh yeah sorry i was just cleaning and we were like oh yeah, sorry you had to hear what we were just talking about. Like, I don't remember what we were talking about, but, like, we said something along those lines. Anyways, so, she walks out, and I go to get changed, and I was looking for the shirt, and I was like, wait a minute. It wasn't where I put it, and so I was like, hmm, wonder if it, like, fell or something. So I was, like, picking up a bunch of different stuff, and this shirt was actually underneath another shirt, and so I was like, wait the shirt would have both of them would have fallen if this one fell so i was like hang on so i like looked through all my stuff i looked under the bed i like looked everywhere and i could not find it so i found the cleaning lady because i was like hmm, i wonder if maybe she had like put it in the laundry basket or something no um so i went to go find her and i was like hey you know i was wondering if maybe you um accidentally picked up a shirt it's like blue and black tie-dye and it says obey on it and i just don't know if maybe you picked it up and she was like um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll go check the laundry room. Keep in mind this girl was the same height as me, basically, and the same, like, she was basically as thin as I was, too. And so, she was gone for, like, ten minutes, and we were like, yeah, she definitely stole it. Like, this hoe is trying to take my clothes. And it's like, how broke can you be? I mean, I guess you're a cleaning lady, so yeah, you kind of are broke, but, like, just buy your own shirt. I go back into the room, wait for her to come back. We're still looking, we're like, we can't find it anywhere. She comes back and she's like, oh, is this your shirt? And she holds it up. And I'm like, yes, it is. Thank you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. And she was like, oh, yeah, I must have just accidentally slipped it in the laundry bag um, when I was cleaning. I was like, yeah, that's okay. Um, so I got back in my room and we were like, yeah, she definitely stole it. And I smelled it and it smelled like straight cigarette smoke. Like she was taking selfies in it or something. And then she like threw it in her car and like had a cigarette or something. I literally had no clue why it smelled like cigarette smoke. But it did and I was really disturbed because I was going to wear it that day. I still wore it. I just sprayed a bunch of perfume on it. So it's okay. I had some cleaning lady cigarette smoke on my shirt. Makes it vintage. I never reported her or anything because we didn't know that she actually stole it. Even though we're 99.12% sure she did. But anyways, so that was pretty fun. Basically, moral of the story is don't let housekeepers into your room while they'll steal your stuff. And keep in mind, like, we had tons of other stuff she could have stolen. We had, like, perfumes and jewelry and shoes, chargers. Like, we had a bunch of stuff she could have stolen. She decided to look underneath another shirt to find this shirt and take it. I was just like... Literally, there's like no point in doing that. Also, I don't know why I'm looking over here and not the camera. It's just kind of like a thing that when I talk to people, I don't look at them. It's a problem. But, um, yes. Yeah, so. 
So we were kind of just like absolutely mind blown that she took the time out of her day to look for this shirt like I don't even know and like she didn't even clean our room so she was that was a pointless trip into our room that's actually the first time that's ever happened to me like we like our family whenever we go to hotels we never have uh, housekeepers come into our room just because like if it's dirty it's dirty but um yeah if you guys liked hearing my story time hopefully you can hear me because i have to talk a little quieter because everybody's sleeping hopefully you could bear looking at my fair face um, i'm gonna try and make videos more often uh I mean, probably not, actually. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just kind of doing them when the video ideas come into my brain. If you want to hear more story times, I can try and think of other ones and comment them down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You know, all that type of stuff that YouTubers say. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful day with you. Love you, bye.